Alright, hello and welcome. Uh, so, this is a bit of a different video. Uh, I know I pretty much technically did this in the unboxing, but I figured I'd do a little bit of a better, in-depth, more uh, review slash, like, demo of, uh, you know, the last lightsaber I bought. And although it looks a bit dark, when I ignite this thing, it's going to be more lit. So... Without further ado, getting into it, so it's pretty much just, again, the, a more in-depth review of the Duelist lightsaber that I got from Sabres Pro. Now, I've had this for about a week now, so I figured it'd be even better to give a sort of example while it's been some time. So, first off out the way, again, this is the Duelist lightsaber from Sabres Pro. It's literally the cheapest lightsaber I believe you can get. Now this is a baselet one, and I decided to get one with a blue hilt. There are different colours. I believe there's grey, silver, gold, red, blue, and black. So I got blue. The second one I bought is a red-hilted one. It comes with... It's sort of tape. You can use it for a grip. Now, it's not too sticky, so I feel like if you really want this on, you might need to find a better way to stick it on, because... Like, it, it doesn't come off, but it is easy to come off because there's not much holding it together. So, that is something that I would suggest you do, is try and find a better way. Now, one another bad thing... I'll try to get the bad out the way first. Another bad thing is, when I put this in and screw the blades in this side, which is what it is, you still feel like there's a little bit of a wobble to it, which... It's not too big of an issue... But that's something I guess you should be careful of, because you can't force the screws in, otherwise you break the blade. At the same time, you don't want it too loose, because it's going to come off. So, that is probably an issue I'd say I have with it. And, uh, again, I haven't tested this in a full duel to know how well it goes, but I would assume, again, it's this is the cheaper Sabre, and it is just a base lit, so it's more, you know, duel worthy than most others now um going off again so one of the things that also has is on the bottom here you have uh, this little piece now if i ever did get a second saber which again i have got one coming through the mail <sighs> it's a bit of a hair on it now obviously what you would do is you would pick one of these to take off you know you take them off one put them on the other, and that's how you connect them as two. I, that's one thing I'm waiting for this lightsaber to come in to do, which hopefully should be next week. I'm praying it's by the end of next week. So, this, uh, yeah, I'd say the end of next week. So, um, trying to think of some more stuff. So, obviously, yeah, that's really all I can think of about the bad that I've had so far. It still feels loose. The tape doesn't seem to go on properly, and... Uh, that's really it. I can't really think of much else negative so far. Now, obviously, for the positives, very affordable Sabre. Again, it is dual-worthy. I think it looks great. The entire, you know, metal hilt. The blade looks very sturdy. The buttons and stuff, the way the settings work, I think they work perfectly. Now, right off the bat, turning it on, you hold in this button... For, it doesn't do any notification, but for three seconds. So, one, two, three. And as you can see by the blue light, it is on. So, I've already got it set with a sound font and color. However, I will go over some, like, ex ex explaining it. So, obviously, to ignite it, it's a simple press of the button. See what I mean by bright? Now... Base slits still have features that most others don't. So I remember my first lightsaber was a cheap Amazon one. It didn't have smooth swing or anything, whereas this does. So... It's got smooth swing. If you, It's got clash as well. Now, it's a little difficult to really ignite because it's meant for clashing. But it has, if I can try and do it, like that. 
So obviously when you clash with a sabre, it'll do it. If you press the button, it makes a deflector like you're deflecting a bolt. So, you know, if you hop, so when you, as an example, I'll turn it off. When you hold it in, when it's lit up, you'll notice the light flicker for each second. So, one, two, three, four. So the light will flash for every second, which is good because again, compared to other sabers I have, it's a, you might have difficulty trying to figure out how many seconds it's been. Whereas with this, it gives you an indication of not only when it's on, but that. Another thing that I have, I like as well, but it only seems to have just one, is you can ignite the blade by giving the hilt a fair grip and a flick. For some reason, it always does the hit sound after. That's a little defect, I guess you could say, but again, it can't turn off that way, unfortunately, but a way to ignite it is doing that. Now, moving on, you can initiate a clash by holding it in for one second or a flash, and then pressing the button after. So as an example, one, and now it's on a clash. And then to stop it, simply press the button again. Simple, easy. Now, while it's on, I can change colors by holding it in for two seconds. One, two, and now every time I press the button, it goes through the color. So we've got lime, pink, I wanna say turquoise, red, blue, yellow. I can't think of the name for this color. I, it's like a it's like a mint green, sky blue, green. This is like a very light pink, orange slash dark yellow, and then back to purple. So, and then obviously, you, I don't know if there's a way to do it so it keeps it. I'll try pressing... No, never mind. It still does it. Okay, so yeah, I don't know if there's a way to do it. I usually just turn it off. So one, two, three, four. And then the next time I turn it on, not only will it be on that color, but pressing the button will still do the, you know deflecting in that so it doesn't change the color now while i have it like this if you hold this in for eight seconds one two three four five six seven eight it turns it into deep sleep mode so i believe this is just completely off it's not on it's not wasting power it will turn off by default into this if you leave the lightsaber for a couple minutes but this is just a way to do it early. So I will turn it back on, because while we have it on, I will show you how to do the different sound fonts. So all you do is hold it in while it's off for two seconds. So right there, that one is Luke. So I'll go through each one and explain the thing and also give an example of when you turn it on and all that. So this is Luke's ignition. Now, the reason why is I can't I can only seem to get it to initiate the clash sound when I hit the hilt. So I'm trying not to hit it too hard, but obviously you're gonna get it every time you hit the blade. But while it's just a test, I'm doing that just to give you an example. So next, one, two. I as much as I wish it was a grievous sound, it's not. So this is Obi-Wan.
Next up. So this is Kylo Ren. And again, I love having this sound font and being able to do this because it gives the real feel of his light lightsaber ignition. So... If this lightsaber had different blade effects, it would work perfectly with that font because you can really hear the burning slash unstableness of just how the, the hum sounds with that font. So we'll go next. So this is Ray's Ignition. I want to believe it's her ignition when she has the yellow saber, but I can't really confirm that. Alright, next. Now, it, if, if, if you didn't hear this, this, that quote, it wasn't a quote. It, so, it's called number one, and it's the default sound. So, as you can tell, it's a default ignition. I, I bumped the button. Yeah, I bumped that by accident, but that's the default one. When I first got this, that was the first sound that came on. All right, next. Qui-Gon Jinn. Obviously, the ignitions look better if you choose the color for the right saber, but just I don't want to go through all that effort. So I did do two TikToks uploaded, which I gave an example of the sound font as well as the color blade. So look back at this video and you'll probably find them. They're TikToks, so you know. Next up. I love that sound font, just for how, how creepy it is. Now, this is... Uh, if you want to call him Palpatine, or you want to call him, you know, the Chancellor, whatever you want to call him, this is his ignition. Unlimited power, slash... I, I'd love to... Uh, just reminds me of that scene where he ignites it and he's like it's treason then and does that really weird yell that's all i think about when i hear it all right next vader. darth vader As far as clashes, my favorite's Vader's because it sounds like the classic. But otherwise, yeah. Another thing too is obviously some blasted effects sound the same. But yeah, that's really depending on... So when I first did the unboxing, I had no idea what the fuck this was. I originally thought this was Kylo Ren. However, I now know, as my brother mentioned in the video, this is supposed to be Kylo Ren when he was a Jedi and that literal... 10 second scene of him waking up to see Luke attacking him and then igniting his lightsaber so this is literally a font based on that my palm is gonna fucking Oh, that's going to puff up at some point. It's just red. 
All right, so next up. So back to the beginning. Of course, this is the Ahsoka effect. Now, whether it's Clone Wars or Rebels or The Mandalorian, I don't know which one it is, but it's just, it's called Ahsoka. So, obviously, that's up to interpretation. This is the one I keep as default for this saber because it's just, I like the blue look of the hilt, the purple blade effect, and it fits it. And eventually, when I get the red one, I'll ha I already have a color font for that one, so that'll be for that. So this is Ahsoka, which I you're gonna hear because it's my default one from the start. Oh, here we go. It's burning. It's burning up. <laughs> Alright, so that's that's all the sound effects. Now, unfortunately, there's no other features as far as the bass lit goes. I'm just going to put it in deep sleep mode real quick. So, obviously, I could have bought the NeoPixel of this. It had that option. However, I, at the time, didn't have the money. And when I bought the second Saber, I also didn't have the money, so I didn't choose it. However... I already have the perfect NeoPixel lightsaber picked. It's going to take me at least two to three weeks to save up for, and then obviously another two weeks at best, or minimum, to send through. However, I've got it picked, the perfect saber. It's going to be NeoPixel, and there's going to be a reason, as I've explained before, why I picked a NeoPixel to begin with. So, I want a NeoPixel because it offers more effects as far as turning it on, sound fonts, blade effects, and also, as I've mentioned in the video, rainbow blades have always been my thing ever since I've, ever since I saw it. It was one of my favorite things, and that's one of the main things I want in a lightsaber. Just a way to have a rainbow blade without needing to manually switch stuff and can still use it. So, Eventually, that's what I will do. So, for now, hopefully by next week, I should have the red hilt for this. So, I can unbox, kind of give another review of it, and then show you both combined and separate. And then, uh, I don't know, I'm going to give myself a month. And by then, I should either have bought and been waiting for the lightsaber I want, or I will have started trying to get it. So... As far as purchases in for lightsabers, that's my plan. But as for now, I've got this, this next one coming in, my dark saber over there. And I do have plans to buy wouldn't say maybe not a Jedi costume specifically, but a Star Wars costume nonetheless, because I wanna try and see if there's a way to make my so as a very very big Star Wars nerd. I've created an OC in my mind slash on paper and I'm trying to see if I can find a costume and modify, do stuff to give me an OC for if I ever go to events and stuff, I'd love to have a reason to take my specific sabers with the way they are as that character just to kind of, you know, go over that. I also would like to try and get costumes for other characters, but, um... I don't really know yet. Again, I, my most definite next purchase is probably going to save up for that NeoPixel lightsaber. So until then, I really don't think there's going to be anything else I'm going to buy majorly long-term, something to wait for in packaging for a while. But until then, whatever happens, happens. I don't know. I might change my mind. However, thank you for watching. Um, I know this is pretty much the same as what I did there and again you can just watch the two TikToks I did for each of the sound font slash color but I wanted to do a video and yeah again I have work I finished work today I have tomorrow off I just want to upload a thing or two during the time I have off just as something to do because I'm not always doing stuff when it's my day off so I figured why not um any so anyway thank you for watching um let me know what you think leave a like watch again what's your favorite sound font color combination i would love to know and obviously 
I will see you in the next one. So until then, thank you and goodbye.